Test, test. Testy, test. Right. <coughs> Decided to try and uh, make a video of using your pendulums. Um, there's, I've got a fair few of you on there now that I'm in different stages of learning how to use it um, with your guides. Um, obviously it's got many uses um, and I'm having to explain to everybody individually what to do so I thought I'd um, make a video um, saying them a lot to um, kind of try and explain to people different techniques, different things to look out for, that kind of stuff when it comes to using your pendulum. So what I've got <coughs> is pyrite. Um, it used to be quite difficult to get hold of pyrite. This is like a, um, a coil with a block. You can buy proper ones now. Um, quite expensive by the looks of it. This block it's about 50p and the coil was a couple of quid the chain was a bit more expensive um, you want a nice chain so with a bit of quite an easy bit of movement on there you'll find that cords can um, be a bit stiff um, it, and it's, you know, it's a struggle for them to swing it and while they're putting their energy into it so a nice chain is probably more important than anything else um, go with pyrite because that's what my guides advise me to use. It's a lot more resistant to um, lesser types of energy. So you'll find that when um, things try and speak to you instead of your guides or whoever you want to speak to, they'll have a lot more difficulty in breaking the connection. Um, it still does happen. Um, I'll put that into a kind of a different video. Um, that's a conversation for another time how to get around that um, or how to get them to go away really <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah pyrite's the best if you can't get hold of pyrite amethyst um, black obsidian that's a good one as well something to that puts up a bit of a resistance to um, lesser energy um, is always good so um, when using this be respectful above all, they're people too, they were people, they could have been people um, past lives on the earth or not, um, they just decide one time I've got enough development now I'm going to be a guide to somebody. Um, <clears throat> obviously if you were on that side you wouldn't want to be spoken to like, like crap <laughs> basically, um, so be respectful, thankful for them. For any work they do for you, um, the happier they are with you, the happier you'll be with them. Um, can't really alliterate that enough. Um, if they're giving you dodgy answers or answers that wouldn't come from the heart, you know that there's something wrong going on there. Um, maybe they're not as nice as guys as what you'd like, or maybe the conversation's been to cover by something else. Um, always bear that in mind because um, they can get interrupted halfway through speaking to them and then you'll be talking to something else and then the answers are quite, you know, would they, would they really say that? It's, um, you've just got to bear, bear that in mind sometimes. Um, when you start off doing this kind of stuff, it um, can be a bit daunting at first. What do I do? What do I say? You've just got to get used to speaking to them. At the end of the day, they're they're, new, they're going to be as new to this as what you are to doing it. They've probably never been a guide to somebody that's asked them to do this before in the past. So just, you know, a bit of patience. Both sides goes a long way. Um, at the end of the day, it's um, a good way to start communicating with them. If spirit work or any kind of this kind of area interests you at all, it's pretty much really the only way to develop on to being able to hear them properly um, to be fair that will come with time you'll be asking them questions and it just kind of you kind of get the answer in your head as you're using your pendulum 
so it's a good way to if, especially if you're not one for meditating and just sitting there and waiting for it to kind of happen with with me it was kind of like I don't want to say forced into it but I was getting sensations of stuff in my head and my eyes and and it was um, I was being a, kind of like a magnet to stuff that I wanted to go back to the light so I was kind of like I had to do it um, I had to speak to him via this because I couldn't hear him yet and find out what was going on and it, it just kind of develops from there really um, so yeah so basically what I'll do is I'll, I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can put the zoom in that way there we go let's put it on here so it's got good length so you can see circle is yes and across is no so I'm speaking to him in my head you can they can they can hear whatever you're thinking so you don't have to like say it out loud and they're listening to your thoughts they're not listening to your voice so um jessica are you there yes you having a good day yes you know it's it's kind of like that so say no no yes no basic stuff very easy and um, when it comes to numbers some people have had difficulty with uh, a circle will be plus five. So one, two, three, four, five, plus five. So say for example, um, just number three please. Number three, you see that? So can we do a seven? So that means five and a two. So that's seven. Um, how about 13? Should we go 13? Unlucky 13. So we've got 5. Okay, thank you, 5. Stop change. That's 5 again. That's 10. 3. 13. It's as simple as that. I mean, if you know the number's going to be large, you don't want to go to a 200 like that. So you could go, um, could we work in, should we work in 10s? 20s? So she wants to work in 20s. So we'll go 2, 20, 40, 60. That's 100. So a circle then is 100. And then to that finger, so that's 5. So that's 200. 200? 200. 200. So there we go, that's how we can do numbers. Um, obviously you want to get to know them, they want to get to know you. So another good trick is multiple choice. Um, say for example you want to know where your guide's from. So Jess what we're going to do is we're going to go, in a, if you, have you had a past life? Yes. So in that past life, stop the pendulum, so in that past life, your, your previous one, where did you come from? None of the above, Europe, America, Australia, Russia. So you lived in America. So, start again. North America, South America. North America. So you can get information which isn't yes, no, isn't numbers. You can use multiple choice kind of, kind of questions to work out what you what you want to what you want to find out. And obviously, when you start doing this kind of stuff. Um, it's just going to be a lot of random questions like that. Just get used to, you know, how you can speak to them. Then getting used to using a crystal most of all because they wouldn't have done this before. Um, that way you can, they can kind of advance their connection with you and the crystal. And you can kind of take it from there. Um, obviously when you get more developed and into it, you'll get different, say you'll get different sensations in your head, eyes, you can see flashes of light as you're using it. The flashings of light, the different sensations, they all mean different stuff. Either what's going on with your development, um, things that are in your area, whether they've got stuff that they want to kind of convey to you, and that sensation is them conveying you to that. Like, for example, 
if I get um, energies that want to go back in to the light, I kind of get it in my head. I get like a let's move this back. I kind of get like a like a pressure in the eye. If if they've got stuff that really needs to go up to the light, I'll get a pressure in the eye. Um, insentient ones, um, sometimes they need to be just wiped, and I get like a cold spot in my shoulder instead. Um, and it's like that, you know, you can pick it up. I mean, obviously, I know every time now, I know that that's what it is. And I can just say to her in my head, because I'm speaking to him in my head, have you got any that need to go back? Blah, 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 I can do it. Job done. Um, before you can do that, though, you really you need to use the crystal. And what's this sensation mean? You know, use the multiple choice questions. And then, as well, you can get a bit more comfortable with, oh, you've got some to go up to, like, how many have you got? Use the numbers, you know. You could use multiple choices to find out how they left us, you know, have they got any unfitness business? Well, they, they wouldn't come to you if they didn't have any unfitness business, but, you know, you can kind of get a, like a, a good rapport going. And then this will then hopefully spur up to you being a bit more um, open to their communications. And like I say, you'll realise as you're doing the multiple choice questions, as they're answering the numbers, you'll also hear five in your head. As, as it, it probably even before it swings you'll hear five and then it'll go to five and then you know well hold on a minute I'm getting a bit getting some getting some kind of communication that I didn't expect to happen and it can certainly roll on from there so I hope that explains using these a bit more um, you can also use them say you've done your Reiki this is a good one say you've done your Reiki we'll move this back down here um, you can run the crystals down your leg, like do you need to heal here, do you need to heal here, do you need to heal here, do you need, and then it's C, it's to turn to a knee, yes. So you can give Reiki, you can do that as people are laying on the Reiki bed, you run it over the top of them and then you'll know how to, you need to give some healing here. I mean, it, you've lost your keys in your house, you know, you can go in, in through all the rooms and it will tell you they'll be able to know where your keys are, they can tell you where they are, and then you can go around, and they'll be there. We've, we've used this before, when we've kind of lost stuff. It's, it, it really is. It really is helpful. <laughs> Obviously, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily use them for hind, just to find your keys. Um, they're there to help you with your spiritual stuff and guide you through life. They're not, you know, a, tea de a key detecting tool or a metal detector or anything like that so you know and um, when you've spoken to them thank them you know send them love and light um, you, you, they love it if you if you say to them oh, I'll send you love and light send you love and light they, they really do they really do love your thanks because at the end of the day they grow through helping you you acknowledging that that helps them grow even more they're just the same as us you know no one wants to do a lot of work and never get thanked for it and you can you know you can use this then to snowball say someone's having trouble they've got stuff in the house you can say okay can can we go and check it out and they'll be able to check it out they'll your main guide won't go but you'll have another guide that goes um, see what's there and then they can come back to you tell you what's there and then so you can sort it out. Obviously, you, if you're just starting off, you won't be doing any of that just yet. But um, it's, it's it really is. You know, have I got a protection protector? Um, so you've got a guardian. You can find out if you've got a guardian. You can request different guides, type like stuff like that. Say so you you need guidance, a new kind of spiritual thing you're thinking of doing. You know, all that kind of stuff. There's loads. Of, I mean, the list is endless, really. But it's just getting that. That first kind of connection, once you kind of open your mind to it, what you can do with this, it's um, it really is a very good way to start off doing this kind of work. If you're, if you certainly if you're interested in it. So um, yeah, uh, that's all for now. So I'll make another couple of videos, and um, see you later.